Astro Gold Mac OS. My name is Kerry Ann Crow for Esoteric Technologies Astro Gold. In part one of these tutorials, we're going to be looking at creating charts, creating files, and saving. So let's get started. I'm just going to click on new chart here. Now, once you do this, you're going to see information that you need to import. So the tab key on your computer, just simply keep on tabbing down and either inputting, removing or adding the information that you want. Now you'll notice that you've got a now button there. If I was to click on to that, that would actually change the whole chart. That would give you the current transits of this location as well. So I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to keep on tabbing down and you'll notice latitude and longitude. If you had that information and nothing else, you can just input that in as well. So keep tabbing down and you'll notice the time zone as well and of course the type. Now this is an important area as, as well, especially if you're dealing with Sinistry. So just you know, open up that drop down menu and you've got some options here. Now moving across, to these areas here you've got another drop down menu so you can choose the type of zodiac that you want to use and also the house system now I need to just apologize in advance but the screen has not captured the last four of the um, type of house systems too but when you open this up you can have a little look now the next area that I want to bring your attention to is comments so you can add information that assists in your recall of to, as to why you created the chart, if it's an accurate birth time, or even relationship information. This is the area that you're going to put that information in. And then just hit calculate. So staying in this area of new charts, you will notice that you've got four options here. So I can keep on adding up to four different charts. Now, none of these make sense to you at the moment. I've just kept on clicking on the, the select charts. But what you will notice is that the information gets displayed and it tells you exactly where each of the charts are located. So going back to chart one, we can see the whole chart. Bringing up chart two, you can see that chart two is on the outer ring. Now I can move this around. I have got a swap chart um, key here. And once I click on this, the charts move. And of course the information changes as well. I can also drag this by hanging on to just a left click and bringing that cursor and dragging that chart up and once again this changes. So you've got two ways of doing this. Let's have a look at this area here called select and you can see from the drop down menu I have a number of choices. I can either click on current transits to bring me to the current time. I can create a new chart here as well as up here. I can open charts too, which I'll have a look at a little bit later. And I can edit this chart. And I can go into subsidiary charts, which we'll also look at a little bit later. Now these are the areas that I want to have a look at. Now favourites. As you will see here, I've got a little star. And I've got a star here. One is highlighted, one isn't. So I've highlighted this to create this into my favourites and there it is checked. I can also remove it from favourites or clear my favourites altogether. The area that I want to address is location. So we can see here the area of birth was Bunbury in Australia. So I want you to go on to select and click edit. Now the information is brought up here and you can see edit chart. 
where did I find that? In the area of select. Now using this arrow here, I'm going to click on this and you can see a number of choices. We've either got zones or something that's nearby. So let's click on nearby and see what happens. Well, near to Bunbury are these areas here and it will also tell you the distance. Maybe it's Picton that she was born in and we're going to select that, calculate this and you will see this information change once I hit calculate and it'll ask you do you want to create a new chart or update the save chart and look I'm going to update the save chart and there it is and look how that information has changed. Let's go back up to the toolbar and go into the area called open charts from file. You will see files here You'll see that um, the name of the file that I've currently selected and how many files that are in there and when this was created. So let's click on File and you'll see this drop down menu. Now, a number of these files come with the program. You can play around with these and you can also add to them as well. So let's go into the file called Royalty. Now this comes with the program that you've purchased. I can add comments to. It also has an edit key and a delete key and I can copy anything. For example, if I've got this particular chart up here and I'm not in agreement with the time of birth, I can make a copy of this chart and actually add the changes. Let's look at creating a new chart file. So the first thing that we want to do is go to the area or this section here called save and click on that. Now I want to create a chart file called babies for 2021. So I've got new folder or I've got options here and I'm going to select options and I've got create new chart file. So click on that and it's asking me to enter the name there. So I'm going to 2021 and hit create. And here it is here. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to save. The moment I save that, this um, chart file will save. And you can see that it's um, greyed out here. So it will show me where I've saved this file, which is called Babies 2021. And it will also ask me if I want to save another file. Well, that was part one. Now stay tuned for upcoming videos to get you started and to introduce you to this amazing software. I'm Kerri-Ann Crowell for Esoteric Technologies.